On September 10th, the Eater construction site dramatically changed its silhouette. In a 15-hour operation, the 800-ton roof structure for the assembly building was lifted 50 meters into its final position. Over the past months, the roof had been assembled on the floor beneath the steel frame building. Now it's tied to 22 steel cables connected to mighty hydraulic jacks, ready to be pulled into its final position. The day before, the structure had been carefully lifted a first 20 centimeters and left pending overnight, allowing the lasers to measure any deflection of the steel and to check the hydraulic pressure in the jacks. Slings still secure the monster on strings, should the wind pick up. Today, it is a very special day. We are making a very important operation. It is a completion of the main structure of the assembly building. Today, we will make the lifting of the roof. So you can see behind me, the roof on the bottom, and in a couple of hours, it will be on the top of this building. The weather gods are merciful. And so on Thursday morning at 10.50, a siren indicates that the pressure in the hydraulic system is slowly building up to 300 bars. The big lift is about to begin. Mission Control is a small porta cabin. From here, Reno Kaufman, project manager from the company Heavy Lifting, steers the operation. The lifting equipment consists of hydraulic pumps, steel bundles and anchorages, and the certain control system uh, to make sure we stay within the tolerances. And uh, the tolerance from the highest to the lowest point is only 35 millimeters. We have a laser system on every axis, uh, measuring the distance between the top, the final position, saying, of the roof, there is a target consisting of prisms, and on the bottom, we have a laser emitter, constantly measuring the distance. While Reno Kaufman and his colleagues start the systems, outside the cabin, the spectators to the show have gathered in anticipation. This is a big event, not only for those who've been involved in the actual construction work, but also for their supervisors. We have already lifted the roughly 10 meters. Uh, with the, now, we are now doing the greasing maintenance of the cables and uh, now it's a great day for us because it's a very important uh, operation. We had a lot of efforts from everybody on this and uh, we are really happy with that. With five meters per hour the roof goes up. The sound of the jacks pulling the strands is very subtle and almost absorbed by the hammering and welding noises all around. It will take some days before all the bolts and connections are in place and the cables can be removed. But from now on, the landscape of the Durance River Valley certainly has a new feature. Today, we have achieved together an important and visible milestone for the ITER project. This event is an important and thrilling moment for us all hoisting the roof segment of this crucial building. And in this way, completing its main steel structure. The operation that was successful completed here last night is a decisive step toward the Tokamak assembly. Visible from afar, it is also a tangible sign of ITER progress and the promise of fusion energy.